so hopefully my audio is good and uh, now let's begin so first I'm just gonna make the grapple hook itself the metal part of it so I'm just gonna start off with a cube add in a few edges and oh yeah you guys can follow me exactly in blender so obviously the technique is the same but only the softwares are different so once I make the basic shape and I add in enough loops I'm gonna use a pen modifier here in Maya and as you can see if I move it it bends along there's a curvature tap there which allows me to fix my curvature so as soon as I see that hey this is completely fine I'm just gonna delete history center pivot and freeze its transformation so I'm happy with that and now I just go in to do a little bit more editing and beveling the edges I'm testing out what looks good here what works and nothing more and now you can see that the bevel is done and it looks completely okay so I'm adding in few loops just to give the mesh integrity here it was a very simple duplication of the object and then I rotated it and uh, because it's gonna be three it's gonna be 120 degrees so as I see that it's overlapping what I do is immediately move it a little bit um, above center pivot it and just duplicate it thrice right with the 120 degree angle I deleted the faces where my handle is gonna come in contact make it much more cleaner and this was the cylinder from the beginning so I'm just gonna take that and turn it into a very very simple handle so a couple of extrusions and there you have it very simple handle we are not gonna complicate it we're gonna keep it as simple as possible and here I take a torus and now I'm editing it so I can make it uh, like a small hook which goes behind the grapple where the rope is going to come in play and is gonna uh, tie a knot there so I'm just gonna make that now Once I'm happy with that, I'm gonna go and work on the rope itself. And it's a very simple helix. Like I said, just work with what we have. We are not making everything from scratch. So it's just a helix. It's already there in my arm. You have this in Blender as well, and actually many more. So uh, it's gonna be much simpler in Blender. You just need to know how and when to use it. So that's what I'm doing here and this was very simple I just put the pivot point to the most uh, prominent place and then give it an angle so that it stays flat to the ground and here it's quite simple as you can see it's just basic extrusion I took the corner of that one tube right and I started extruding it and this is all manual and fun work so you can see that it's just normal extrusions going through each other trying to get that loop feel right adding more edges and uh, it's called edge loop um, so when you add those edge loop you can uh, press alt w that's my shortcut for edit and now I've added edges and now it looks much better so once that's done I'm using this tool called soft selection where I select a point and I can move multiple points with it and with that I'm just gonna give in a little deformation to the rope itself because it was looking too clean and that's not how it's supposed to be just for that extra detail but that's that's it and as you can see everything is done so now I'm just rescaling the whole grapple hook itself adjusting the ropes and uh, trying to figure out what works I noticed that the angle is just too much right so then I rotated it and now you can see that everything fits in frame and looks good 
So once that's done, we can select our individual objects and give in simple materials like Lambert and Blin, whatever you want, because you will anyways uh, be changing it in Blender. So now that we are in Blender, go ahead, delete everything, import your grapple hook. I increase the scale by 40. And the first thing I'm going to do is set up a camera. Put in a camera, Control Alt Numpad 0 to snap it. Press N to open up the menu here. And camera to viewport is locked in. As you can see, the checkbox. There you go. Once you do that, you can adjust your camera. And now, as you saw, I just added a simple plane, right? Simple plane, go into render mode, and I'm gonna use cycles as my render engine and obviously I'm gonna switch that to GPU and now I'm gonna put in a simple light setup it's called a three-point light setup all of them are area lights right so one right on top of it one at that angle and one I'm just gonna rotate it so you guys can see that so now that works I'm gonna go into individual lights right change the size feel free to change the power change the color of the light all this is just experimentation so as you can see i'm selecting different lights and i'm adding different powers to them so that the scene lights up right it's as simple as that so don't over complicate it three lights keep it really simple play with the power play with the size and the color now as you can see, I'm just going in the materials, selecting each material and just playing with the metallic and the roughness. I'm not going to overcomplicate it. It's just going to be two values. That's it. And there you go. I added a subtle orange to the handle and I'm going to leave the rope brown as it is, right? And if you remember, we just made the plane, the floor in Blender, so it doesn't have a material. So you need to click the floor, make the material, give it a base color, see what matches really well. I really like this light, um, you know, pale yellow. So I'm just going to go stick with that. And here I am again, increasing and decreasing the brightness. One really good tip um, for getting a better render is giving it giving your lights a little tint of color that makes the reflection uh, catch that color as well and going into the render settings going into color management and setting the profile to uh, medium high contrast there you go it's there in color management right and once that's done and the look and feel is achieved i'm gonna go and change my resolution obviously because my screen is 2k and then render it there you go that's the final image Right? I went ahead and added in pebbles and gave it a little lighting touches, but there you have it and that's how it is. Hope you liked it. See you in the next one.